Hey everyone, this is Big Country Time. I'm back with some more mystery boxes and some store purchases. So today I have a couple of mystery boxes from Chrono. I have a purchase from the Funko Shop and one from Amazon. So this is what we'll be opening today. Uh, Funko, Amazon, and a couple of mystery boxes from Chrono. So, not quite sure what the top hits are from Chrono. Um, I think I got this uh, one on August 1st. And not sure about this other one. I didn't write any notes on this one. So, we got two mystery boxes from there. We'll open those last. We'll do the store purchases first. Um, I got this one from Amazon. Again, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, right now, to the left of me, I have one, two, three, four, five, five different boxes from Amazon. So this could be anything. And got the pop from the Funko Shop. Again, not sure what it is. Um, we got two other boxes from the Funko Shop over there, so we'll check out those. And then after that, um, I have a Smuggler's Bounty box that I picked up uh, just recently uh, on Amazon. It came on sale and hadn't had it, so uh, we'll open that up too. So everyone's probably already seen what's in there. We'll save that to the very last if you guys want to stick around. Um, before we get to that, um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. Um, go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, if you can think of it at the end of the video, throw some comments down there at the bottom. All right, so we'll go ahead with the Amazon purchase first. Take care of this. Like I said, I don't know what this one is. I'm not sure when I ordered this one. I'm trying to catch up with my, uh, my boxes. Then doing more ordering than uh, opening. So, all right. So what you guys see first. All right. So, there we go. Only one pop in there. A little dusty. Moth Gideon. All right. Been waiting for this one to come in. A little, little damage on it, but this is definitely a cool pop. If you guys have been watching the um, Mandalorian, he uh, he's pretty pretty cool looking uh, bad guy. So I'll be happy to add that to my collection. I was thinking about putting him next to Gus from uh, Breaking Bad. So I don't know what you guys think if I should put him next to each other. All right, stick uh, stick these two guys who next to each other. Do they look, do they look the same? So I might put those guys two together. Be kind of a cool little thing to do. But uh, as you can see, kind of running out of room up there. So I'll just stick him right there for right now. And that's that. So, all right, we'll go to the Funko Shop next. We got this one right here. I'm trying to look on here, I don't see any dates on these boxes. So, kind of thinking it's either the pop around the world, or it might be the San Diego Comic Con pop I ordered so let you guys check it out first all right got some green bubble wrap on there got a tricks thing oh right. so it's in a sorter and it says Toshi so this is going to be a pop around the world. 
This is going to be, I think, number six? Number seven? Yeah, number seven, I think. All right. That's pretty cool. So I'm a little behind in opening boxes, so like I said, I wasn't sure if it was this or the San Diego Comic Con pop. So by the time you actually see my unboxing of the San Diego Comic Con, it'll probably be a month after it came out. Hopefully not. So I'm not sure how much this one's going for. I know it's sold out. So just out of curiosity, let's check this one out real fast and then we'll get over to the mystery box opening. I know everyone's waiting and seeing if I ever get a top pull from Chrono or Chalice. So I'm waiting patiently. And nothing for Toshi. All right, so uh, this is coming in at $55. Uh, looks like on uh, some of the sale prices, some of them are up to $88. $88, uh, So there's two on sale, $88, $100. But uh, PPG price shows 55 Not bad. Pretty cool. Yeah, these are all going up in value. Some more than others. Alright. So, I have all of them so far. We'll add this to the set. i got to move some stuff around. Alright. So, we are on to the mystery boxes. And, oh yeah, this little uh, tricks card came inside the box. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure where I'll put that, but... Uh, we didn't love trick cereal growing up. Alright, alright, so I think I got these on two different days. One feels lighter than the other. So this one right here feels heavier. This is the one without a date. This one feels lighter. So I'm going to go with the lighter one first. We'll save this heavier one for last. Alright, so, um, alright. Close my eyes and do a little chant. Shake it for some luck. Rub it for luck. All right, everyone out there, let's uh, cross your fingers and let's hopefully I get something good. All right, here we go. All right, I can't remember how Chrono boxes them. I don't think they have in separate boxes. All right. So, can't tell what that is so far. It looks like it's upside down. Alright. So, it's a Naruto Sage Mode. Do I have this? I don't have that many Naruto. I don't really collect them, but... No, don't, don't have this one. So, Special Edition. Naruto, I was just talking to my daughter today. She says the way I say that sounds funny, so I'll stop saying it. But uh, special edition, 182, number 185. I think it's the third one from Naruto. I have two. Baruto, this is a cool one. We'll check out value after I open the next one. So, we'll put this over here. You guys can kind of view it and look at it until I open the next one. So this one felt a little bit heavier. No date on this. I have no clue what the top pools were. Alright, fingers are slipping on this. Doesn't want to open it easily, so maybe that's a good sign. Cross your fingers. We already did the little channel on the other one. Didn't work, so maybe it's saving it for the last. 
right. Let's really see what it is. You may know what it is. I don't. Bam! Look at that. 40th anniversary Princess Leia. So, I think on PPG they had this one going pretty high. I don't, I don't think it's worth as much as PPG has it. Princess Leia. I do collect Star Wars. I do not have this one yet. So that's a keeper. It'll go right up right up there with the rest of the 40th Empire. So obviously my streak continues for no top pools. So unfortunately that's the way the Funko Pop Mystery Box game goes. All right, so we'll check out the value real quick. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I made back my money. All right, so we'll take out Princess Leia. Three sixty two. All right, so PPG has this going at the $30 value, which I guess it could be true, but I don't, I don't think people are paying $30 for it now. Let's see, there's some for sale right now. 20, 20, 34, 20. So they're all going for just a little over 20 bucks. So we'll say 20. I was at uh, Target when these things first came out and I passed on it. I think uh, I chose some of the other ones before I grabbed this one. So cool. All right, we'll add that to the collection. Naruto, special edition sticker. I'm not sure how much these are going for. I figure it's a sticker one, so. I'm thinking it's probably going to be like 18 bucks. They'd be wrong. I don't really follow these uh, these pops. You know, I'm not sure how to search for this. Let's try just that. Try Sage Mode. Alright, so why isn't this coming up? So I'm going to just type in Naruto and I'm going to have about 100 pops come up and I'll just search for it. Why? So hopefully when I edit this we can just get straight to the point because there's going to be a ton of Naruto. Yeah, this is going to take forever. Let me try putting Sage Mode in parentheses. Oh, uh, well. Something came up. I got a Misuki Sage Mode. Naruto Sage Mode Prototype. And Naruto Sage Mode. Wow, okay. Really surprised. Um, with the GameStop sticker, this shows it's coming in at 70 bucks. Wow. All right. Well, cool. 70 bucks. That's, I'll take that. I just telling my daughter today I was probably gonna sell my uh, anime pops and she was like give them to me we'll see $70 pop add that to my collection for now we'll see how long it lasts and I'm just gonna look at some other pops what they're going for because uh, wow I'm shocked now, well, there's only she only shows one on PBG for sale at 70 bucks. 
so I'm not sure how accurate this is. All right, so that was the mystery boxes, the two store purchases. Um, like I said, if you guys wait around to the end, I'll open up a smuggler's bounty box. Um, I picked up this one just recently. So this one's been out for a while. They had a they had a sale on Amazon where they were selling these for $9.99. And that is an outstanding deal. So let me see where I can open this. Alright. Let's try to see how we can open this. But if you haven't seen it, well it'll be a surprise for both of us. Alright. That. All right, cool. We got um, this one little uh, bobblehead, one piece. I don't know if it's a mystery mini or if it is actually um, Yoda. That's pretty cool. I think should I open it? Let's open it up. And I don't really collect the minis. I think I have one other mini that I got from another bounty box. I think it was um, Darth Vader. I have it in this room. I have it in another another room. For my uh, pure Star Wars uh, showcase. All right, this looks like it doesn't open up easily. So, Up of him right there. You can see uh, Baby Yoda in the background. Cool. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Looks like a. Uh, some little uh, R2-D2 notepad. This is just a little little card. That's what's what's inside here. All right, I think there's one other thing in here. So, oh, there's a sticker in here too. Ooh, that's a cool sticker. Nice, I have to find a place to put my sticker here. All right, so we have the movie moments. Dagobah face off. Man, if you're a Star Wars fan and you don't want that pop, that is freaking cool. So let's take this thing out. Cannot get it out easy. It is wedged in here good. to come out eventually huh it is just like air pressurizing there all right so a little bit of box damage not a big deal show that up to you guys you can see that's where he goes into the swamps and he uh, meets his supposed uh, father Darth Vader and chops the head off, and when the head to mass dissolves, he sees a reflection of himself. Man, that is freaking cool. So, like I said, I got this whole box for $9.99. What do you think this pop is going for? Man, I think that pop in itself is worth more than that. Is it going to be under Dagobah? Do I... Do I say Dagobah a different than you? Is that the right way to say it? All right. Dagobah face off does not come up. Dagobah. All right, no. 
Why doesn't this come up? Did I spell Dagobah wrong the first time? Oh, I must have spelled Dagobah wrong. All right, so first thing comes up, R2D2 Dagobah, Dagobah Yoda with Hut. Dagobah Yoda. Well, that little tiny Yoda is worth uh, $8. And so, PPG has this coming in at $23. So, not bad. Spent $10 on Amazon. Free shipping. So, sweet. Yeah, just find, just find some room for that. And that's probably going to be it for today. Um, we'll open up another another Smuggler's Bounty on the next video, so stay tuned for that. Like I said, I have a bunch of boxes over here I'm trying to catch up. So let me see, how many boxes of stuff do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15 different boxes that's ranging from Amazon to Funko, from GameStop to uh, some Chalice. I got a um, big box here from um, Bands for Arm. I think there's 10 mystery boxes in there alone. So a lot more, a lot more videos to do. So anyway, I think this video has gone on long enough. It's right at the 22 minute mark. So uh, we'll wrap this up. This is a uh, big country time. So if you're still here, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and then throw a little comment down on the bottom and tell me what you think. All right, this is Big Country Time signing out. Bye.